Hello everybody, Slash MVC here. Let's play Cataclysm. I'm gonna pause for the boring parts on this one, because there may be some. I may be uh, wandering around trying to figure out who to talk to. <laughs> hey, which one of you bums? You know, like that. <laughs> so, uh, actually, let me figure out what I'm doing with these NPC quests real quick. Uh-huh. All right, this guy is the one that we're delivering the cigarettes to. Interestingly, if I talk to him, he's Todd Norris. He says, you got the smokes. And I've only got, no, not yet. No, I'll get back to it. And then his regular dialogue options. <clears throat> uh, in other words, uh, it says five packs or 100 cigarettes. So I've got a few cigarettes on me, I think. But uh, not 100. So I need to bring all of them, I guess, at the same time. And then uh, here, this guy right here, this is what I, guy I was looking for. Dino Dave, or Dino, Dino Dave, the beggar. Let's chat with Dino. Dino, hello, oh, there he is. Have I told you about cardboard, friend? Do you have any? Cardboard. I'm building a house out of cardboard. The Sandman doesn't want me to, but I told him to go screw himself. Uh, why cardboard? There's so much of it now, and the zombies are afraid of it. It's kept me safe so far. The beta rays come from the center point of the zombie, so it hits the cardboard and can't penetrate. The reflection can stop any further damage. This is damn good information, as far as I'm concerned. Talking to this guy makes me want to make armor out of cardboard. Um, would you like me to give you some cardboard? kind of question is that yeah man you got cardboard i got a whole a whole shopping list got it here uh what's on the list i have a job for you you want to hear about it yeah tell me about it gotta start small right little ones for keeping little things safe i could use them i need a bunch of them little ones you know can you bring me like like 40 i'll do it Oh man, thanks so much, my friend. You won't regret it. Hmm. Got any advice? Watch out. He's looking for it too. Oh, there's somebody else out there looking for cardboard? Sounds good, thanks. Don't have any more jobs for you. Okay, that's fine. Um. Okay, well, I'll check my mission log for more information, right? There. 40 small cardboard boxes. Probably I'm thinking we assemble those out of whatever cardboard we can scavenge. Hey, Dino. Hey, you got the little ones yet? Uh, no, not yet. Um, <clears throat> why are you sitting out here? These cowards are afraid of me. They won't let me into their base. I'm going to build my new house and I won't let them in. <laughs> You said you were building a house? I'm building a house out of cardboard. The Sandman doesn't want me to. Yeah. The Sandman? If you don't know who he is, I definitely can't tell you. He talks to everyone. If you didn't hear him, that means you can't be trusted. Except to help me out. <laughs> uh-huh. Okay. Um, are you seriously wearing a dinosaur costume? He says. Mm, no. I, uh, I can see you wearing it. <laughs> Why are you wearing that? You ask me what I can see, but I don't tell you what you see. Sometimes we have shields up to protect ourselves. I think I have to get going. Really interesting guy, Dino Dave. <clears throat> really interesting guy. Uh, I think I was uh, only able to pick up I haven't picked up a mission from any of these other beggars, I don't think. And I need to bring these poor bastards some food on my next trip down, for sure. Um, I'm going to talk to each one of them, see if I can pick up any new missions from these. Because I, I don't think... I think I was looking for, like, VIPs here before. This was my first trip up here. You know, the VIPs are got me on the main quest line. And uh, main quest line may get a little hairy. <laughs> Maybe I can recruit some of these beggars to help me. I'll be right back. Uh, whoops. <laughs> ah, 
I hit the wrong button. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I did have it paused. And then I thought I was recording again, but I wasn't. Um, okay, well, <clears throat> to recap. <laughs> to recap, basically all I did. I talked to some of these other guys. the other Some of the other beggars. But we've talked to them before. No, None of them give quests except Dino. So we're going to do Dino Dave's quest. And um, then I've got a quick thing I want to do. I want to drive down here and check out... There's a ranch here. I think there's a break in the trees where we can get off this road and hop onto this one. And that will take us over here. I w should have picked up this quest while I was here. Uh, but I want to get I pick up this scrapyard quest. And uh, because then I, when I go home, when I finally go home after all this driving, we can look at how much scrap metal. I assume he's going to give me a scrap metal quest. I don't know. We can look at how much scrap metal we've got, how much cardboard we've got, how many cigarettes we've got, and all that stuff. And also, I am curious, because when we go past the ranch here, and then we've got a bridge that goes to the north end of this city, I think I want to get a better look at this city. First of all, Kunji's got to find a hospital so that he can analyze that zombie blood. And we haven't found one yet. So the only thing to do is drive down there and see what's going on. So let's set this destination here. Maybe that town has a hospital. Hold on. Barn, garage, ranch, <sighs> silo. Mm -hmm. X. Let's see what there is to see. Okay, the ranch has boarded up windows. Is the door locked? Closed. Hmm, doesn't say locked. We can probably just walk right in the front door. What do we have down here? A palisade gate. Mm hmm Okay, so... Ah. And this is a very large garage. And a barn. There's absolutely no reason not to check that out, actually, now that I think about it. Let's come to a stop here. Now. We see no monsters. No cattle. Pretty big complex here. I'm going to tell you guys, you know... I've been, uh, been having a lot of fun, but I just recorded a uh, Mark Crump episode that left me a little shaken. And uh, I don't know, man. I don't know where we are in the upload, upload schedule exactly. If that episode's come out, or if it's about to come out. But... Uh, I need to be more cautious. I learned that much. <clears throat> Interesting, this farmhouse is largely empty. Food wise, mostly cheese, from what I could see. Then here's the usual suspects uh, uh, tools I have, uh, battery charger, which I have, nuts and bolts and paper, duct tape, duct tape, duct tape, gallon size zipper bags. Um, Guess let's grab the candle and the flashlight. We don't need the hammer, the pliers, the screwdriver. I guess grab the battery charger. Aluminum foil looks like something that might be handy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. Cardboard box. Yes, right. We're going to have to remember to pick up all the boxes that we see. Was there boxes here? No. Okay. Um... Yeah, wow, what a tiny little farmhouse. What is that? 
A wheelbarrow. Always handy to have. Oh, thread. Should we take the mess kit? Oh, the tailor's kit, yeah. Large plastic sheet. Oh, I guess we'll take the mess kit. Why not? Sewing kit. And not much at all. Vinegar. Could do some pickling. Okay. Ah. Uh, right. There's one more building. Okay, let's check that out then. Interesting. Nothing in the barn but a wheelbarrow. Uh -huh. This whole ranch is just abandoned. What's that? A reaper. What the heck is a reaper? Huh? Too heavy to pick up. What is it? It's an assembly of a blade, wheels, and a small lever for engaging and disengaging or cutting down crops. I see. Right. It's a tractor attachment. Shears, probably not useful to me. What are these plants here then? Cattle fodder. But there are no longer any cattle. Ah, spotted a chihuahua. Chihuahua, don't mess with me. I'm not in the mood. Um, okay, we're in the final outbuilding here. Swimmer zombie spotted. Uh oh, yeah, no, I see him too. Here he comes. Uh, drop the backpack. <laughs> oh, he's moving fast. Looking for something to run him over that's a high move cost. We got this bush over here. Two giant cockroaches to the southeast. <laughs> Missed him. Missed him again. Two giant cockroaches. Oh no. A cockroach is battling the. Oh god, look at this. One, two, three. Bunch of dogs. They're all fighting the giant cockroach. There's a llama out there. Sheep. Cattle dog. Border collie. Great Pyrenees. All fighting the giant cockroaches. Oh man. Should really help those dogs. Where are they? Where did the cockroaches come from? They just spawn in the field, or what? Hmm. Okay. What do we have in here? Bird food. You rattle the bars, but the door is locked. Cattle fodder. Why do they have a metal door leading in that direction, then? Hmm. Ah. Uh, hmm. Let's have a look. We'll try to pick the lock. That zombie spotted. Stop. So all the zombies, none of them were in the buildings. They were all out back. All right, let's drop the hiking backpack. Uh, sure, we'll just drop it in a point we can't retreat from. <clears throat> I mean, you know, if I want to go get my backpack, I have to go into a, a corner, in other words. Uh, looks like the cockroach uh, was the victor in the combat with the collie. Um... Is that cockroach? Oh no, wait, wait. Oh, the fat zombie's gonna get into combat with the cockroach. But now the cockroach is fleeing, he'll probably chase it. Yeah, he's chasing it down. Interesting. Alright, let's uh, apply that lockpick again. Hmm. 
No dice. You know how these lock picks work. <clears throat> it's very common to have this problem. There it goes. Okay. So we just got cattle fodder in this locked metal room. Interesting. Hey, this is a great place to ride out of. Kanji doesn't know about portal storms yet. Can you believe that? Kanji doesn't know about portal storms? Because him and Mark are in the same world. Hellrise. The portal storm hit Mark. Therefore, it did not hit. Wait, why would the llama be attacking the sheep? No, oh, the llama and the sheep are both fleeing me. That's what's going on. Okay, that's fine. So I would run to... Where did I park? Ah, oh, right here. All right. Hmm? Open. What is that? Boarded shut? Open, open. Oh, what? Oh, 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 it's got a... Ah, it only opens from one side, I see. Okay. Well, that's it. We saw the ranch. Now we can finish driving down to this bridge. And see what there is to see. Uh, we spotted a crick. I don't think he'll bother us. Oh my, well there's something going on down there. I think the cracks are going after some neutral monsters. Kanji goes off-road again. Kanji, I wish you would stick to the highway, actually. Strangely to say. It looks like I just passed another mass grave site. Something's pursuing us. Alright. Uh, what kind of roadblock slash camp? Oh, no, this is a minefield. Oh, shoot. Uh, come on, man. Oh, well, at least auto drive didn't drive right into a mine. That's, that's nice. Let's back straight up. A little ways. Uh-huh. How's uh, my... Per uh, Kanji's perception is only six. He could potentially have a problem detecting landmines. But the warning signs are out here. Triangular signpost. Signs of this nature seldom display anything but bad news. Yeah. I, I assume this is a landmine since we've got a body here which has heaps of gore and blood splatter. Um, I can't see the mines from here. Oh, temptation. Military cargo truck. Rams are in good shape. Alternator. Faulty engine. The whole thing doesn't show a lot of damage, though. And then we have an acoustic guitar, hatchet, some kind of crate. There's a fire ring here. I didn't think you could build those anywhere but on pavement. I mean, on uh, dirt. Uh, we've got some unopened crates. Hmm. Could be something interesting in those crates. But we'll have to proceed with caution. Did they mine the highway? What I'm going to do is I'm going to take a step and then pass a couple turns. My understanding is that the character sort of auto-searches. Ah, oh, uh, yep, there's a landmine. I think, isn't it? Yep, there's a landmine. So, Kanji's perception was adequate to see that. So we've got a Stanag 30-round magazine, MRE package, five hidden items. A couple of them, gas mask, rig t-shirt, combat. Let's switch modes here, let's do this there. There's three Stanag 30 round magazines. Hatchet two-way radio. 
acoustic guitar. Uh -huh. And some ripped and torn stuff, but at least it's not filthy. <clears throat> okay, well we may go down there and grab those magazines, why not? Plus it looks like it's on the safe side of the landmines, right? I mean, landmines should be on one side or the other of these sandbags, one would think. Oh, well, there we go, we've spotted another landmine. Uh, that has zero rounds in it. That has zero rounds in it. I'm gonna grab this two-way radio and use it real quick. Uh, I guess we can always use the MREs, hydration pack. I may try the load-bearing vest. Sheath with a combat knife. A sappy ballistic place. These are not uh, uh, torn or ripped or anything. This is shredded and would have to be you know, fully repaired. Kunji has not done any kind of... Uh, I'm overburdened. Okay, so let's go back exactly the way we came and drop this crap off then. Whatever I may have. <clears throat> the ballistic plates, that, the lead bearing vest, the gas mask, the MRE packages, hydration pack. Let's hold on to the gallon size zipper bags and favorite them. Uh, cigarette pack, leather wallet, uh, the cardboard box, the thread, the niter, the plastic sheet, the aluminum foil, and the battery charger can all go in there. The sewing kit, the tailor's kit, the mess kit can all go in there. The spare flashlight and candle can go in there like so. Let's try the two-way radio. Can I apply the two-way radio? Oop, I'm standing too close to my storage compartment. No. Apply the two-way radio. Um, slash them? It's a tool, right? Wow. For the life of me, I can't see it. It is probably right there. Or I put it away. I probably put it away. Okay, well, we'll use the two-way radio in a minute. All right, back to it. Oop, this is the path that I took down. Okay, what's on him? He's got some clean water. Corpse of a National Guardsman. Pretty sure there's going to be no landmines right around this area. Right? What uh, is that? Ooh, vodka. Do a little landmine look. Or, okay. Uh, what? There's three landmines in the crate. We've got four landmines. Oh my god. I know. I know how we're gonna take down the Jabberwock. <laughs> Is there any danger in placing them, though? Okay, let's look and then examine. It says, this is a military anti-personnel mine that is triggered when stepped upon. Mmm. And that's all it says. Hmm. So, um, what do you do? You just, uh, drop it on the ground? Okay, let's see if you, do you apply it? I think probably, yes, probably, yes, yes, yes. You apply it to place it. Now, I don't know if there's any danger involved in doing that. <clears throat> oh my god. Okay, Kanji... Handle these very carefully. Okay, okay. Okay. All right, all right. I mean, I don't think they're active until placed, right? <laughs> right? Is there any danger? And I can't believe we got landmines out of those boxes. That, oh, wow, that's crazy. Let's examine the vehicle and uh, see what's wrong with the engine. It's got an active immobilizer. Oh, that's all that's wrong with it? An active immobilizer? Dude, there is a 
99 liters of JP8 fuel in this vehicle. Car battery is at 72%. Battery is not damaged. Tanks are damaged, but not draining. Um, I wonder how I mend the tanks because I always have trouble with this part of the menu, you know. Yeah, see, no button that I'm hitting is scrolling down to the tanks to tell me how I can mend those. You know, I don't know why that is. Uh, maybe because the tanks were not what was highlighted to begin with, but I've got left arrow, right arrow, down arrow, so this scrolls up and down, right? That's what happens, but it's not highlighting any of them. It's just changing the page. Uh, let's try to highlight something else. If we go to highlight the tanks, which are where? Right there. All right, let's say that I hit mend now. See? Once again, how do I highlight the tank? I need help in the comments. Someone please help me. I can't find any buttons that would help me to mend these damaged tanks. But anyway, it, let's say I click, okay, to deactivate the immobilizer. Deactivate the immobilizer that is preventing the vehicle from starting. I only need a tool with fine screw driving, which I'm sure I have. But I need a 2 in mechanics and a 5 in electronics. New goal. Electronics 5. This is our new vehicle. Right here. Yes. Uh, with that in mind. Let's, uh... Oh, I didn't realize that Kanji made any diary entries. I forgot. Wow, he did. First diary entry, I escaped today. Uh, which was, um, what day was that, anyway? Um, his next entry said, I met some refugees today. They need food, preferably dried food, and cigarettes. They also want me to deliver this FEMA info to an isolated shack. Hmm, I wasn't an isolated shack at all. That was Hub 01. Uh, let's add a note here, but I want to remember that our goal is Electronics 5. So, uh, how do we edit the page again? I forget. Is it just enter? No. New page. No. N. Uh, lowercase n. And then enter dead. Okay. Uh, I managed to deliver the FEMA info to Hub01. <coughs> uh, some dude in a cave wants me to slay the Jabberwock. I think I'll try using landmines against it. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. And then, I found a very nice, very nice military vehicle uh, near this bridge down here. I need to learn a lot. If I could capitalize in this font, I would, but it's all the same. I need to learn a lot. Oh, here, oh, here. I know how to emphasize. A lot. <laughs> About electronics. So I can disable the immobilizer. Yes. Very good. Save. Oh. Ah. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. Hey, I'm going to rewrite that off camera. Let me pause real quick. Okay, I got it rewritten about the FEMA info, the Jabberwock, the landmines, and the electronics. Very good. So yeah, okay, we're keeping up with the diary. Not nearly as creatively as we are with Mark, but Mark loves to wax poetic about his uh, thoughts. Does that mean, I wonder, uh, that this would be ridiculously dangerous? That, don't think I'm even considering this. But surely, if you had a high, say, mm, devices or something, you could attempt to deactivate these. I have almost no doubt. I haven't tried to read about this on Reddit yet, but I have almost no doubt that you could actually examine and disarm a 
can then carry these landmines. Um, did we look at this guy? Yeah, he's got a pocket knife and stuff. All right, well, he didn't get, he didn't see the sign, I guess. Uh, we could, <laughs> we were going to drive across this bridge. Uh, let, let's look. The landmine spooked me a little bit, but, um, do we need to drive across this bridge? I don't think so, because I ain't driving anyway, all the way down to here or all the way over there. I'm just going to proceed on foot for a little ways. I'm going to get over here. Maybe they didn't put landmines on the um, sidewalk end of this bridge. And if I spot anything ugly, psh, out of here, man. Out of here. Should have taken the vehicle. Kanji wants to get fat and happy. Alright, what do we got here? Okay, there's something called a fever, which is a mutant beaver. Covered in feathers. Oh, yuck. And we've got otters. And a moorhen. And a grebe. A grebe. A grebe. Which is an aquatic bird with a long neck. Um, okay. So there's a lot of animals here. Fine. Hey, well, we got a note here. Minefield. Hey, thanks. Auto note. That was very helpful. Hey, what were these auto notes? Craters. Oh, okay. Well, we missed a bunch of auto notes. Portal. Portal in. Another portal is here. What? We drove past a portal in? What the hell is that? Okay, we gotta go back and investigate, I guess. I haven't gotten any notifications that there's a portal storm going on. Yeah, we drove past a mass grave. I thought so. Yeah, okay, I gotta keep an eye on my map notes, I guess. They are very helpful. Hey, look here. Evac Shelter C-41. Uh, we might as well go check for NPCs. And I'll run a search as we get closer to this hospital, and, or <laughs> as we get closer to the city, and uh, see if there's a hospital there. These mainly look like houses. Even these are houses. This is the residential district of... Uh, what, what town is this? Madbury. Madbury is huge. Look at this. Madbury, Weymouth, and Swansea. Swansea. All combined here. Oh, jeez. That's a giant mega city. Okay. I think, I mean, wouldn't you rather move to a small town, Kunji? Some place maybe the size of uh, Madowska and Granby, or uh... yeah. So speaking of these other town that oh god, look at yeah, Jamestown, huge, huge. Madowska and Granby. Yeah, I w I think it would be. You see, when I first started playing this game, <clears throat> it's uh, confession time. When I first started playing Cataclysm. Not so long ago. What's it been, people? Three, four months, right? I ain't a old hat. Cataclysm. Water scorpion nymph. These have seen me, but they're still ignoring me and or fleeing from me. So that condition may continue. I do want to make a canoe. Kanji still wants to do that. We better, let me see, where are we at in our recording time here? Uh, we're at, uh, oh, 29 minutes? Okay, not bad. Two, seven, there we go. Alright, we've got a little time to do what we need to do. When I first started playing Cataclysm, I was saying, oh, I'm thirsty, I'm going back for water. You know what, screw that great big huge friggin' metropolis. I'll let superheroes clear cities that size. When I first started playing Cataclysm, I thought, uh, well, first I thought it was a zombie survival game, right? Which it is. But I didn't know about all the Cataclysms. And, uh, so I found out about that. That was disturbing. A little, a little frightening, a little exciting, too. Alright, we're gonna go back to the portal. Um... Hopefully we can get past the mass gravesite. 
Be careful, Kanji. Um, I had uh, limited appreciation for the size and scope of the map, for one. How varied it is, too. The size and scope of the crafting menu also took me by surprise. Uh, this is a big game, and um, uh, how fast are we going? 12. Kick it up. 20. Get around this zombie. There we go. And uh, so far, you know, I've really enjoyed playing it. Got scorch zombies and turkeys. But, um, you know, maybe I've had a little too much fun. I don't know. Um, my other character met his first zombie Hulk. This is what happened. You know, this got me a little spooked. And uh, I had to... Uh, to really think about things after that and think, you know what, do I really want to play this game? Do I really want to encounter horrendous monsters? And the whole time, the whole time, I'm thinking, oh yeah, I'm going to go kill the Jabberwock. But here's the problem. And thinking about this in terms of, uh, oh, well, this will be fun. What the hell? Yeah, see, I drove right past that. The whole time I'm thinking, oh, this will be fun. This will be exciting. <laughs> yeah, well, you know, it might be extremely tragic. What the hell is this? It's a tear in reality. This is, these are so-called push items, according to the map. Pile of rubble. Oh, I see. There's a pile of rubble, but the rubble is uh, spinning around the tear in reality. Uh, see? And it's stuff like this. This is an example of what I'm talking about. What has Kanji Kurokawa driven past over the course of this episode? Okay. Now, this is the... I was having fun, right? I was having fun. Oh, oh, more zombies, uh, more zombies, a bigger town, uh, blah, 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 blah. Huh. And then, cyborg caterpillars, right? Or no, oh, uh, what were they? Giant, quadrupedal, alien, cyborg caterpillars. Right, I think I've got that right. The Exodi. Uh, okay. All right, all right, okay, okay. Yeah, that, that got me a little bit. Mm-hmm. I didn't know about this right here, these uh, hairs in reality. It's really interesting. Um, tell you what we'll do. In other words, I've had to ask myself whether I'm willing to lose characters. You see what I'm saying? The first character that I had, I mean the first real, I mean the recording character. Because I did fool around a little, not much, before uh, Brandon the Hobo, right? Some of you may have seen that series. I'm not sure it's worth watching. I didn't know anything about this game. My uh, audio quality was uh, dirt, also, which didn't, which wasn't good. And I didn't know some of the. Is it moving? Seems to be stable. Okay, cool. All right, that's good. That's good. Um, but what am I trying to say here? Here's what I'm trying to say. Oh, well, I mean, I put a few characters in, uh, you know, like uh, big city scenarios. This was off camera. Just to be like, okay, how do you, you know, navigate a large city? How do you survive in one? So I tried some foolish stuff. And I lost some characters. It was no big deal, though. These were basically test characters. You know what I mean? Brandon, the hobo in the first series, he's out there barbecuing, and some survivor walks up and, I mean, just stole his weapons and murdered him. I mean, now, I didn't respect the game at that point at all. I didn't gain a newfound respect for the game. I just thought, oh, I just didn't know what to do, you know? 
But then I've started to see some creatures where I'm thinking, you know what, I don't think it's necessarily about what I know. This game wants me dead. I mean, <laughs> this game really does want me dead. Uh, and a lot. It's just frightening. Alright, so the crack now. The oversized, this crow is tracking me. Everything else is fleeing. Fleeing what? Because I always assume that it's fleeing me, but I'm not sure that's the case. So to go explore that tear in reality. It's something I'd really like to do, but I'm going to um, leave that going to leave that on our to-do list. We have a map note here. It's probably not going. Know about the craters. It's grave site. Drug deal. Okay. Let's go ahead and drive. Oh, wait. Have I gotten off track here? Ah. Ah, yes. Yes, yes, yes. Correct. We were going to hop off of that road where I'm at right now. I was going to off-road it to this road so I can get over to the scrapyard. <laughs> okay, so we haven't gotten to the point of the drug deal yet, so let's keep driving a ways. Uh -huh. So two of these two of these Oh yeah, they're right there at the site of the drug deal too. Mm -hmm. So two of the cracks are chasing a crow, and another track is crack is chasing the rest of the crows. That's what's happening here. And then as far as the drug deal goes, I'm not seeing a lot there. Yet. Not seeing much there. These creatures are about to cross the road in front of me. I'm just going to come to a stop here, and we'll let them cross the road. His cracks are chasing that crow. He's flying for all his might. And he will, I assume, fly right over the fence. Then the cracks will get stuck. And then they'll become interested in me. So let's kick it up. We'll speed past the scene. Are they stuck on the fence? They practically leapt right over the fence. Not as fast as the crow, but they went right over. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, it's time to turn if we're going to get on that other road. So let's go. Let's slow down a fuzz. Whoop. Remember, it doesn't slow down instantly. Yeah, so I didn't I didn't lose my nerve, but I don't think you know, I don't know. Kanji had a close call, actually. He had a close call with those trapdoor spiders. And that was a very dangerous situation. Um, I very quickly forgot somehow, though, that, you know, Kanji escaped that prison after a horrendous battle. Once I escaped the prison, I think my attitude turned into, well, now we're home free. Of course, I found the quad bike almost immediately. I got all this freedom and mobility, which Mark doesn't have. What in the hell is all over the road here? This is a mine, right? Oh, yeah. More great vehicles. I think once Mark finally escapes that city, and that's another thing. Not to uh, totally break the immersion of, oh, shit, that's a fence right there. Okay, that goes to the mine. Not to totally break the immersion, but just thinking out loud here. Trying to think through my crisis. You know, where, where the Mark character is concerned. I think my initial goal was, yeah, this city's clearable. Right? Your practical skill in vehicles has increased to four. Nice. I'm thinking, yeah, Mark's going to basically clear this city block by block. Eventually, it'll be empty. Oh, my God. No, actually, that's not doable. That's not doable at all. All right. It's all highway from here. Unless we have a problem at the, in the meantime, I think we can drive straight to... That's not doable. I think Mark needs to think about escape or 
I mean, if we're going to do, do, if Mark's going to do it, well, he has to, he has to get out of the city period because he's got to leave that city and go to another one to complete Gary's quest. But I think they're going to have to get a base that's outside of town. You know, I, don't, I don't know that it's actually viable to live in a mega city. And then another thing, what is standing in the middle of the road? A black ops zombie. That is an, we have, that's another one. Another one we saw one just like that somewhere else. We got a tough zombie and a zapper zombie also. Uh huh. Oh, because we're driving past this mansion again. Why did I want to drive past this mansion again? I actually thought it would be easier. It's not easier. What's wrong with my brain? Okay, now let's get way off the road. Oh, we can't. I had this problem before. <clears throat> Cataclysm wants me dead. I forgot. Okay, wait. I have an idea. What if I kind of lure them up this way a little bit? Start turning. Like so. Is that going to make it any better as I try to go down this way? Yeah, but I'm going to have to pick up some good speed. You hear a crash. Okay. That was the Black Ops zombie hitting that car. So, we're all good here. We just got to get some good speed going. Yep, and we got around him once again. Which way, though? Okay, we need to keep going along. We need to get on the north end of that road. Oh, my God. I wish I hadn't come this way again. Slash him. Please, don't ever do this again. 20 miles an hour. We need to get up here and not hit a tree. Or a zombie. Oh, yeah. 20 miles an hour is our new favorite speed. Anyway, I've been rambling about what? I don't know. Beers. Let's get back into it. We got past the uh, mansion, and I think I'm done rambling. And uh, I hope, uh, you know, out of all that, you got something out of all that. I don't know what I said, so here we go. Let's drive to there and pick up another NPC quest. Black rat spotted. I'm never driving past that mansion again. So help me God. Kanji is level four. <gasps> What the hell? Right past the mass grave site like a boss. <laughs> wow. Did we know about that one? Let's look at the map. Yeah, we already knew about that one, I think. No, no, we didn't. There's another mass grave right there. <laughs> I wonder if it has uh, flamethrower ammo. Hmm. Hmm. There. There. Yes, we did it right. <laughs> the first time, practically. Man, I hope those guys aren't following me now. Let's uh, zoom out. I don't see them on the mini-map. Okay, yeah. Alright, I'm going to slow down and turn this this way on the highway. There. And, uh-oh. You've reached your destination. You hear a terrible shriek. Do I have anything visible? No hostels visible. Okay. Stop driving. Surely with no hostels visible, they won't disturb us. I want to talk to this guy real quick. 
Oh, he had a mission. Hey, remember we talked before. Talk to Willie Boone. He says, hello there. Nice to see you, amigo. Pleasure to see you again, pal. He says, do you need something? Now, I think I already read his story, but, uh, can I buy anything? Here it is. Any jobs you need done? He says, I have a job for you. Okay, tell me about it. Since business is increasing around here, I've decided to start selling more specialized metal. Problem is, I can't separate the metal out. Fortunately, I found some old schematics on a machine for this sort of thing. If you could get 25 magnetrons, I can melt down the sorted stuff into bras. I can, I can quickly pay you in raw materials. Okay, I'm interested. He says, I'll be here when you get back. Good luck. All right, you got any advice? Magnetrons can be found in microwaves. An apartment block should have tons of them. Okay, sounds good, thanks. Um, can I buy anything? Let me take a look at your stock. I don't remember what he had. So he's got chunks and lumps of steel, scrap metal. He's got platinum. Uh, he's got zinc, bismuth, gold, lead, magnesium. A heavy crowbar. Never seen that before. Uh, he's carrying an AR-15. And, uh... Safety glasses. He's got a spear strap and a tool belt and a utility vest and a hard hat. Man, he's even got a helmet liner and everything. I wouldn't mess with this guy. Alright, so we picked up a quest to bring 25 magnetrons to this dude. So we need cardboard boxes and magnetrons. By the way, let's see, what can we do about crafting a box? So if we want to make like a small cardboard box. There we go. Small cardboard box is five cardboards and 25 duct tape. What? That's a lot of duct tape, man. If I want to make them out of cardboard, it's a bunch of duct tape. Hmm. I wonder how much duct tape I have. So we're looking at 25 duct tape per small, small cardboard box. And on our mission menu, they want 40 of these things. 40 small cardboard boxes times 25 duct tape. That's a thousand duct tape, isn't it? Anyway, this guy wasn't selling cardboard, so. But we could probably hit up the city dump or whatever. Well, speaking of which, this guy's got a bunch of junk. Hey, uh, you mind if I look at your junk? Yeah, look at all this junk. Let's take a view. It's only showing me tools. A spray can. It's only showing me a spray can. What's this? Metal wreckage. Broken vending machine. Broken mirror. I wonder if any of this, I wonder if he'd let me disassemble any of this, just out of curiosity, because if any of it was like cardboard box related. Hey, uh, you got any cigarettes or anything? What's this? Alright, this is where he sleeps. Right. Stinks in there, man. Huh. Yeah, there's not really that much here. But I think. Man, this is a nice vehicle. Oh, it's a wrecker. Oh, wow. This is what I need right here. I need a wrecker. Right, isn't it? Yeah. It's an underlift tow truck. It belongs to the Wasteland Scavengers. Huh. Who are the Wasteland Scavengers? Interesting. That's a faction. That's a faction I didn't know about. Very interesting. We need to get something to drink here. Got landmines. Do we need to go home? Or do we need to tackle the Jabberwock? Let's, uh, I want to select that mission. I think next mission, we're going to try the Jabberwock. I want to, I think I'm going to drive out there and scout it out right now. And that before we wrap this episode up. Why don't I drive out to like right here ish? Just see. Hopefully that won't activate the Jabberwock. 
You know, if it does, I'm driving away like at a high rate of speed, right? But we're in the area, <clears throat> you know, so why not? Why not? Uh, why not do a little scouting here? Let's drive to right there. May the wind always be at your back, Kanji Gurukawa. That was a good looking vehicle. That was a good looking vehicle. What are we going to do? Start a car collection? We just need one good vehicle. Uh, ignore the praying mantis for now. Oh, God help us. Don't, don't activate the Jabberwock. Just drive past here and see what it looks like. Yeah, I think we're okay. Yeah, we're good. Because I figured, because he's out in the dense forest. What the hell did we just drive past? Keep going. Don't stop. Don't stop for nothing. We'll see. We'll figure it out when we uh, on our return trip. You know what I mean? We're going 12 miles an hour. Past something in the road. Okay, here we go. Oh, ah, an error occurred. Setting terrain. T hole where furniture is f rubble. Mm -hmm. Terrain is open air. If this is intentional, set the allow and open air flag on that furniture. Yeah, you know what? I've seen this error before, I think. And I should probably hit ignore to ignore this error in the future. But I think what causes it is when I reveal a map tile upon which a um, meteor has fallen. Achievement complete. Disassemble number five. Huh? Completed year one spring... One robot killed. <laughs> hmm. Okay. <laughs> All right. Well, I mean, you know, I don't know how that happened. Something killed a robot. I'm going to take a screenshot of that, though, just for fun. I mean, hell, we might use that for the thumbnail. And then everybody will be thinking, man, I want to watch that episode. It's the one where Kunji kills a robot. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, oh, I'm hearing, I heard something horrible. So, oh, I heard something horrible again. I think I'm hearing gunfire. Crack. Zombie security guard. Man hack. Uh, stop driving. Look at that. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. What's on the map? Oh, uh, oh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, uh, oh, whoa. Portal. Military, several corpses of skulls, two craters. What is this place? Research facility. We have a research facility that has been hit by multiple craters and has a portal on it. And I drove to it. I drove to it. And off site from there, freshwater research station. What else do we drive past? This thing, lumber mill, okay. The Jabberwock is right there. Shrubbery. And shrubbery there. Oh, no. No, 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 no. But what I was scouting for was, this is what I was looking for. Look here. There's a forest trail here. The Jabberwock is here. We lay the landmines here and run, right? Okay, fine. What's that? A grove. Okay, but we have an immediate problem. What the frick is a man hack? Automated anti-personnel drones. Small quadcopter robots surrounded by whirling blades. Hostile, dangerous, much faster than me. It could fly. Outside the research facility, we got another man hack. A mad scientist. A researcher who has stared too long into the abyss and now shambles about muttering nonsense under their breath. He's a zombie. What's this? Small slime. Zombie security guard and a crack are battling it out. There's slimes on the highway. Interestingly, I don't see the damage here due to the portal or the crater. The portal and or the crater is inside that building. I would have to get above it to see what's really going on. <clears throat> okay. 
man hack is dangerously close we've got to speed up i gotta figure out how to get turned around without crashing into anything and get around the man hack i don't know how fast he is is he can he go 16 miles an hour okay it looks like he can't go 16 miles an hour i'm gonna slowly outrun him at that speed uh looks like i can turn around right off the road before we get to the water so that's a thing and i don't see creatures in that direction yet um 16 miles an hour you don't want to crash you don't want to crash kick it up to 20. make a little turn here okay we're out running the man hack this is good small slime hits the man hack but is stopped by its armor plating someone evidently destroyed a man hack however because I got the achievement for it. Okay, here we go. We're going. Uh, is the man? Did the man hack just lose interest? I hope so. Uh oh. Uh oh. More. More. Uh. Yeah. More is being revealed. What do we got down? Okay, we've got the mad scientist. Here we go. More zombie security guards. More slimes. Man. Oh. 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 What the hell is this crap? They got a portal, I think, out in the middle of their whatchamacallit. We've got a uh, hazmat zombie, an experimental lab bot. It looks like a large metal spider, a bit bigger than a person, with its thorax covered in tiny holes. An ominous buzzing emits from it. Uh-huh. Okay. All right. And then, but, um, okay, that, that this is the research facility. sparks are emitting from the area of this pool did one of the robots fall in the water when i came when the area loaded possibly i don't know what happened there we got more research facility here well probably brick wall yeah okay all right let's stay focused on the immediate which is we're gonna get turned around and get back down that road Okay, we've got definitely got all the attention from the zombies now. Mm, it looks to me like it would be safe to start turning around here. Yeah. Shockered zombie misses the skitter bot. Oh my god, it is hell on earth in here. This is worse than the mansion. G. Get turned around. Okay. Oh. Top speed. We've never gone 28 miles an hour before. Yeah. Okay, has the man hat clocked on to me yet? No. Now the zombie is chasing the crick, and the man hacks and the oozes are doing their thing. Okay, folks. Right. What's that? Oh, there's a saddle. <laughs> there's a saddle. Map. Uh, can I? Uh, I look at the map. Here we go. Yeah. So that. Uh, yeah. Ah. Uh, yeah. 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 Okay. Well, I turned around here. There were sparks coming out. I thought from right here it might be right there. Research facility south from Preston. Research facility. Right. Portal is here. Portal is here. Portal is here. What? <laughs> okay, well, we've seen um, three portals today. Uh, yeah, three portals, one episode. Didn't go into any of them. Freshwater research. Oh, wow. This area is fascinating. And that, is that why there's a jabber walk in the vicinity? Uh, what's this? Loggers. There's a whole logger faction over here. Didn't notice that before. How did I not notice that before? I wasn't close enough. I looked back on it, that's why. I might have been driving past some NPCs the whole time. Oh, shit. What's our recording time here? Oh, we're at 59 minutes. Okay. I'm gonna have to... Stop recording.
because it's time to do that. Guys, all right. Uh, it will kanji turn. Oh, we're going too fast. We're going too fast. I want to get back to where the loggers are. All right, I've run over my recording time. I apologize for that. I hope you guys stayed for the end of the episode because it turned out to be really interesting toward the end there. Sorry about the rant. We'll see you next time. <laughs>